We are now in a moment where we can pick and choose how to change the world we live in. We can make the choices to change the institutions, change the structures, and put ourselves in a position where we rewrite this planet from the ground up. The best way to think of this is pressing the reset button on the operating system of our world. It's here today, and it's advancing at an exponential pace. All of us, no matter how savvy we are around technology, we have a hard time conceptualizing the pace of change. And it's not just about the technology. Um, in fact, the further and further we go, the more we're gonna realize the technology is the least of our problems. It's about the culture. This is moving fast, momentum around AI and RPA, uh, and the promise of this is huge. We don't have a crystal ball, the nature of AI is that it's a learning technology, unlike anything we've had before. But I believe with AI, there's a good chance of this getting turned on its head by the atomic bomb, which is quantum computing, being detonated at some point in the near future. That's going to change everything dramatically and what makes it so hard to look into this crystal ball. Work is going to change dramatically. If we're not inclusive and diverse in our organization, then we're gonna build those biases into that future. And so we need to be very careful there. Always looking at the future, we're going to fail. The future is already here. Over a third of these companies are now investing over $50 million in IA technologies. So the spend is getting up there quite significantly. You've seen the focus, you've seen the attention, you've seen where this is going. We've done a recent survey of a set of executives around the world, across the industry. 70% of the executives actually also expect this to lead to higher value work for employees. That's what these professionals want. That's what knowledge workers want. They want to be able to spend their time doing the, the art or the science of what they're there to do. What we're looking at here is an opportunity to think about skills in a totally different way. So I don't want you to think about like we can automate jobs. What we want to think about is we can automate parts of jobs. We can automate tasks. We can automate skills. Leave you with three big questions to ask yourself throughout the day. Is my operating model right? Is the composition of my workforce right? Do I have the right mix of skills that can be transitioned? And do my practices kind of match my ability to evolve? Throughout history, as we've had technological advances, they've actually created many, many more jobs than they've subtracted because they've increased productivity, and that has increased wealth, and that has increased the demand for different goods and services that we didn't even know we had previously demanded. Every once in a while, a new technology, an old problem, and a big idea turn into innovation. And I think that's what we're all trying to do, right, is we're all trying to use this new technology. We're trying to use machine learning. We're trying to, to use this against old problems. And um, not all of them are going to be fit for it. When we do actually target it right, then we actually end up with some real innovation. We don't have the luxury of waiting 150 years, 35 years, 15 years to really deal with what is going to happen to our business. Each one of these major inventions, major disruptions associated with these eras that you see here, they've always, from an enterprise perspective, they've all translated into big inflection points for productivity. We'll never see a window like this in our lifetimes. Uh, we'll look back at the last two, three, and probably the next two or three years as being just a monumental shift in how business is done. When a world is being reset, you are either resetting with it or you're not.